Hey guys, what's going on? My name is WZ. It has been about four months now. Um, at this rate, we're gonna be making three videos a year. Now, obviously, that's not what I actually want to do. It's not what this video is gonna be about. Is uh, talking about my schedule. It's actually talking about what I want to do on this channel. Doing YouTube is not easy. Let's just get that straight up. If you really put your mind to it, you can definitely get somewhere and become you know, someone. YouTube is by no means a platform for a living job, for a living wage, unless you get to, you know, five million subscribers and then you can use it as a day-to-day -day job. But for me, I like to do it for fun and especially now, like in the past year, I have been really focused on my life, you know, getting an actual real life job that pays fantastic money. Back then, in the good old days of Prime WZ Studios, when I had my other WZ Studios channel, um, I was making a good bit of money. Uh, to me, YouTube was more of a side hustle, yes. So I got my main day job, and then I got my side hustle, which I want to do YouTube, and I've always loved YouTube. So, with that out the way, um, I've been recording for four minutes already. This is uh, pretty bad. Um, I didn't get to the main topic yet, which is what I'm gonna do in this LEGO community of the YouTube place. Um, what I want to do is instead of doing LEGO reviews, which is what the mass majority of the LEGO community does, you know, everyone goes out, goes on the first day, <laughs> I scared my cat, goes out first day release and gets a new set and builds it and reviews it the same day, which to me sounds horrendous, you know. That sounds like a lot of pressure put on yourself and your mentality. And so instead, what I'm going to do is do minifigure videos. I think of my old channel, I made about, what, 50 minifigure videos and it's my favorite type of video to make because it's so easy and it's it's fun. It's minifigures. Who doesn't like minifigures? And I have, I think, close to 1,200 figures now. And I just keep on getting these ideas in my mind like, ooh, it'd be cool if I did this, it'd be cool if I did that with the figures. And um, I have a setup. Um, it's gonna be very, very similar to what I've done before with the deep black void. And uh, I'll give you guys a little rundown test of that in this video. And uh, yeah, we'll just, I guess we just got down to that part. All right, here it is. Does this look familiar? You can see how I have the black void. Can't really see much behind the figure. Um, that's the point. And I have this guy on a turntable. Look how cool. <laughs> um, now, the turntable I'm using is hilarious. I used to have a nice electric turntable that was, you know, automatic. I could push a button and it'll do it by itself. But I dropped it and I broke it. And so now I'm compromising with a BB-8 ball and using this feature right here and using it to turn the head, to turn a figure. And I think that works just as fine um, as a professional turntable. So that's how I'm doing that. Um, as far as the setup goes, um, it's just a lot of lights and a black background. Um, I don't want to show too, too much because it is very unique. The black background, in my opinion, is what's going to make me stand out because everyone has a white background, a gray background, you know, all that basic stuff. And here is a completely black monochrome figure that I thought would be kind of cool to use as showcasing singular pieces. Um, you can kind of see how he kind of just disappears and you can only see the highlights on his uh, peaks and all that. So if you're around from my other WZ Studios channel, this is obviously... Um, very familiar. Let's get up a different figure up here. And you know, that's kind of my idea of uh, making figure reviews. Like, we're talking about King Kahuka and his flesh. Now he's my favorite uh, island figure or pirate theme figure. And, uh, you know, they just look so good. And the contrast in color with a black background is what I like the most, really. And yeah, I plan on doing minifigure unboxings from Bricklink. I got a lot of figures I want to do and uh, show off, so... This should be pretty fun. Here's my sig fig, I guess you could call it. This is uh, the rendition of my real life soul into a Lego figure. And uh, I'll just do the outro right here. So that's gonna do it for this video. It's just a little update video of what the future videos are gonna be. And, um, you know, hoping it goes well, hoping I can execute each video equally to each other and making the high quality minifigure videos that I hope and want to do. And yeah, that's about it. My name is WZ. If you guys are new here, go ahead and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video, which should not be four months from now. It should be a lot sooner than that. Anyways, thank you for watching. Peace.